thank you for waiting, Isabel. <laughs> so she has sisters, you say? Correct. Lady Mano and Lady Ania. Although, to be completely honest, we rarely ever see them. Lady Mono is known for her knowledge, and Lady Ania is just the cutest. I'm sure you will come to like them too, Isabel. I'm sure I will. Incredible. Oh, welcome back. How did it go? I tracked J2's signal to his location, but I could not convince him to come back. At least he's safe. Welcome back, Lady Tetra. We were just speaking of you. Not to mention Lady Mono and Lady Ania. Is that so? It looks like you have all taken to Isabel quickly. Indeed. She's been repairing all of our defects. I wasn't able to fix all of their problems, though. Don't be so hard on yourself. Lady Tetra, Isabel is an exceptional human. They're really just exaggerating. Negative. Isabel, your abilities are at an extraordinary level. Oh, not you too. My apologies, everyone, but may I borrow Isabel for a moment? There are matters I wish to speak with her about. Of course. Give them some privacy, everybody. That must have been quite a commotion for you. Not at all. It was nice to hear what everyone had to say. You truly are a phenomenal person, Isabel. Again? Like I said, it wasn't a big deal. Those of us in the Resistance have severed relations with humans. You see, after Belfamet took power, we have been the target of countless atrocities. But despite that, you were able to bond with everyone so easily. It is a wonderful talent. Well, the bar doesn't seem to be set very high, to be honest. More importantly, you've taken more damage, haven't you? Were you attacked by another Enforcer? No. I encountered a man by the name of Urias Formand. Urias Formand? Honestly, is that man totally incapable of containing his thirst for violence? Did he hurt you? Mano was there to support me, so I was able to avoid critical damage. I should have told you beforehand. Out of the eight people in my group, he's the most dangerous. You see, words don't work with him. It's best to avoid him at all costs. Understood. Let's see. After Urias and myself, that makes six others. I hope they made it here safely. Negative. I spoke with a man by the name of Ewan earlier. It seems only four of you made it to this world. What? I apologize. I believe there was some sort of external influence that sent some of your companions to a different world. So that's what happened. Forgive me. It's not your fault. I'm used to dealing with this sort of thing. This must be the Keepers at work again. Either way, we are fortunate to have your assistance. I could not have predicted a more suitable ally. Sometimes fate works in funny ways, huh? Indeed, when I relieved Belfamet of his teleportation device, I had originally intended to use it to seek out a certain signal, one located in the world you previously occupied. What kind of signal? The experimental kind, and one that has existed long before any of us were awakened. One that belongs to a man named Nicola Edel. <gasps> Whoa. I didn't expect to hear that name. Are you acquainted with him? You could say that. I don't think he's the type to do favors for others, though. It's probably for the best that you found my group first. Affirmative. If you were not with us... This is a prohibited sector. Authorization is required for entry. Please present your identification. Another one? It appears a surveyor has adjusted its patrol route to cover this area. We should evacuate everyone. I'll take care of things here. You look after everyone else. Thank you. I will return to your side as soon as evacuations are complete. This is a prohibited sector. Authorization is required for entry. 
Please present your identification. Sorry, but you need to back off. One way or another. But you're going to need to back off. Unauthorized entry into this sector is prohibited. I'm shocked. Please present your identification. Hmm. Quite the enigma. What? Hmm. Quite the enigma. I drive the hardest bus. No! Too hot on I'll protect my crew from the likes of you. Continuing disciplinary measures. I chose these arms to fight. I'm what's, what's next? Yeah, I couldn't protect you. I saw mammoth of spellcraft. A new and stable egg. Damage sustained. Warped ever so slightly. Terminating hostile unit. A cog of purpose. A cog of power. Let's run. Doing it. Damage sustained. Sustained. Damage sustained. You don't stand a chance. I'm a traitor, not a fighter. Mm. I never got into princess stuff. Conserving waters, sustain me. Stop your face with that! It was a cold trade. Conserving waters, sustain me. Mend your damage, mend your heavy. Mend your damage, damage heavy. Critical.
to get out of here. Ha! Are you injured? I'm fine. More importantly, they know we're here. We should get going. Affirmative. Isabel, this way, please. Almost there. My apologies. I did not factor in your stamina before moving. It's fine. Running isn't one of my strong points, that's all. <sighs> anyway, I think we've lost them. Affirmative. However, please remain alert. I am still detecting a presence in the... Isabel! That should take care of it. Thanks! That one came out of nowhere. Think nothing of it. Please be careful. Hmm. What is wrong? Nothing. It's just... These enforcers. They're completely different than you, right? Everything from their appearance, their builds, as well as their abilities. But your companions? They look identical to the enforcers. Even their internal systems are a near-perfect match. And yet there's a difference. They behave and speak with free will. Of course. It is because the Resistance members have awakened. Awakened? Is that a normal function? Negative. It is not a function at all. It is an irregularity within our circuitry that occurs by chance. An error that awakens us from our pre-programmed states. Mano, Ania, and myself, we were created in an already sentient form. The others came into their capacity to think. So, essentially speaking, it's a mutation. But to think most of you were awakened by mere chance, that's incredible. Affirmative. However, free will comes with its own problems. The biggest of which is the constant danger of Belfamet's wrath. He detests any machine that has awakened. But isn't he the one that created you all? Correct. At one time, Belfamet believed it would be beneficial to have independent creations. But that is no longer the case. He has determined that our existence is unnecessary. I don't understand. If it was his original intention, he should have been satisfied. Oh? In what way? Researching new phenomena in the name of discovery beyond the unknown is the foundation of all magic. Then again, I guess that's what makes him such a child, isn't it? Developing technology merely for his own entertainment. It's almost like... Almost like looking into a mirror. It wasn't too long ago that I was willing to do anything to bring Kyle back. Isabel? Sorry, never mind. Let's get going. Yes, we should move on. First, we'll need to take care of Belfamet. It was Eleanor who taught me to stop overthinking things and do what my heart says. <laughs>